Hi. So today we are going to look at the present tense in German. So the translation for the present tense in German is die Gegenwartsform. And in particular, we are going to look at the regular verbs. And the translation for regular verbs is regelmäßig verben. So initially, we'll have a look at the different pronouns that you can get in German. There are a few. So to begin with, I, so I, is ich, ich. And you, in an informal sense, so if I'm speaking to you or to my brother, for example, that would be du, du. We also have he, she, or it, and the ending for those are all the same, and that is s. And then we move on to the plural pronouns. So we, if I was speaking about myself and my brother, or myself and my father, or me and you, we, or us, then that would be wir. Wir. And the informal way of saying you in plural, if there are a few of you, so for example, you and your friends, um, that would be ihr. Ihr. And they, so they are making a, they are making an aeroplane, <laughs> for example. That is Z with a small s at the front. Not to be confused with the Z with a capital S at the front, which is used for um, saying you, but in a formal sense. So if I was speaking to my boss, I would use Z with a capital S because I would be speaking formally to my boss. And that could be either singular or plural. So I would use Z with a capital S if I was speaking to my boss or to my bosses. <laughs> Okie doke. So then we'll come to look at the verb, the different verb endings uh, for regular verbs. So to begin with, I, which is ich. So when you use ich, that has the ending of just an E. And then you, which is do, as in you, yourself, do, the ending is ST. And then if you were using or trying to say he, she, or it, um, that would be S, and the ending is a T. And for the plural of we or us, which is wir, that is an ending of en. And then for the plural form of you, uh, which is informal, so you and your friends, the ending is a t. And then for they, and both the singular and the plural form of you in a formal sense, they both have the ending of en. So, in order for us to be able to, com to combine the verb with the ending, initially you would use the infinitive of the verb. So, for example, we have here an example of a, a regular verb in German, which is machen. And machen means to do or to make. So we would take the infinitive, which is machen, and we would remove the en at the end of machen. So you're just, just left with the stem of the verb, which is M-A-C-H, mach. And then we would add the correct verb ending. So if we type it out here, for example, ich, I. So ich 
Mache. So ich mache is I do or I make. So for do, using the ST, it would be du machst. Du machst, you do or you make. For he, she or it, we would use the T. So it would be M-A-C-H-T. And that would be he makes or he does or it makes, it does or she makes, she does. And then via, as in us, we would use the en, so that is actually the same as the infinitive form of the verb. It is exactly the same as how it was initially, machen. So wir machen, we do or we make. And ihr has the T as the ending, so that is M-A-C-H-T, the same as he, she or it, which is the S form with the T, so they've both got a T ending. Ihr macht, so you as in plural, informally, you do or you make when there's a group of you. And then uh, Z and Z with the capital S, they and you, plural and formal, um, or singular um, formal, is again an EN, just like the via, like the we. So it's M A C H E N. Z or Z Macken. They do, they make, or you do, you make. So moving on to the next uh, next example of a regular verb, which is spielen, and spielen means to play. So, ich spiele with an e on the end, as per the e uh, the ending for ich. Ich spiele, I play. So, do you do spielen? Spielst with the st ending that we have up here, and that is you play, you are playing. S spielt with the t on the end. It plays, he plays, she plays. The next one, the veer ending is the en again. So back to the infinitive form, which is spielen. Wir spielen, we play, we are playing. And then the the ending for ihr, as we know, is T, same as the ending for S, and ihr spielt, you play, you are playing, um, for a plural sense of you. And they or you formally is the EN ending, so back to the infinitive again, and that is Z or Z spielen. They play, you are playing in a formal sense. So the last verb that we're going to look at today, which is regular again, is zingen. And zingen is to sing. There we go. So. If you wanted to say that I sing, it would be ich singe, with an E on the end. And if we wanted to say you sing, as in you, it would be the ST ending, which is du singst. Du singst, you sing. And then for the S, it would be the T ending, so it would be zinked, s zinked, or er zinked, or z zinked. He, she, or it even sings. And then for wir, uh, which is 
we or us, it's back to the infinitive form of the verb, which is singen, wir singen, we sing. And for ihr, the plural um, form of the verb informally, uh, so you and your friends are singing. That's just with a T. And I'll pop that just up here above the picture of me. <laughs> so ear zinked, because it's the T ending for ear. And the last one for they or you formally um, is back to the infinitive again. I'll just pop this one here. So that would be Z zingen with an EN at the end. Z or Z zingen. They sing or you sing in a formal sense, if you're speaking to somebody formal. So that's to give you an idea of the regular verbs and how we make them and the verb endings. Um, there are lots of regular verbs to look at. And next time we'll look at putting them into sentences to um, improve your understanding um, of them and to enable you to practice. And as well, in the, uh, the next session, we will have a look at irregular verbs. So that's everything for today. Thank you, and I will look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye.